Welcome to this guided practice of self-abdominal massage to relieve tension. Today, I'm gonna walk you through how to massage your midsection using a grippy, pliable ball like this. The goal of this practice is to improve your connection to your abdominal region, using the ball to apply pressure at different angles, which is gonna release a lot of tension and also improve the range of motion of your respiration muscles, your breathing muscles. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jessie McMaster. I'm a holistic fitness trainer, yoga teacher, and massage therapist here to share tools that allow you to take your health into your own hands. For the past 10 years, I've been helping people connect to their core strength through beginner-friendly breath work. And one thing I've noticed in myself and with many of the clients I work with, when there is excessive tension in the abdomen area, in the belly, whether that's physical tension caused by muscle tightness or scar tissue or emotional tension, it restricts our ability to activate and connect with the deeper muscles of the core, which inhibits us from building the sort of supportive strength and stability that we need in our core so that we can move safely and function without pain pain, especially back pain. For this practice, you're going to want one of these small mini balls. It's grippy, it's pliable. You can also deflate it a little bit more if you need to. And then grabbing two pillows or maybe a folded blanket and a yoga block, something to support your head and your legs. Now, if you don't have one of these balls, you can use a rolled up towel or a rolled up blanket instead. And I'll walk you through that as we go. A couple things to keep in mind when it comes to massaging the abdominal region. First, this practice is best done on an empty stomach if possible. And second, the abdominal area is a pretty sensitive area for most of us. It's an area that naturally we all want to protect and keep safe. So while you're doing this practice, remember to be gentle, to go slow, and to listen to your body. Back off if things feel too uncomfortable or too painful. The only way you're gonna gain access to the deeper layers of the core and to be able to relieve any sort of tension in the belly, in the guts, is to activate your relaxation response. And in order to do that, you got to be gentle. Before we begin, I want to review a few landmarks. This practice is best done if you can get your ball onto your skin. Because of the grippiness of the ball, we're going to be using the ball to kind of pin and stretch some of the connective tissue in the abdomen. Pointing out, we have the front of our ribs here right side, left side. And then we have the front of our hip bones down here. And you might just kind of touch those areas. Be really aware. Okay, here's my ribs. Here's the bottom of my ribs here. Then I have my waist. And then here's my hip bones. We're going to begin lying on our right side. Grab your ball. You're going to pin your ball between your lower rib and your right hip on this right side. And we're lying on our side here. You can put a folded blanket or a pillow in between your legs. And if you want, you can also have another pillow or your yoga block to support your head. And we're going to begin just lying on our side. Now, if this ball feels like too much, one, you can always deflate the ball. And two, you could just do a rolled up towel or a blanket. So you have many options. I want you to find what works best for your body. On our side, we're just going to take a few breaths here, just witnessing the breath. So big inhale. Think about breathing down into the lower back and the abdomen. You could do an open mouth exhale, just allowing your body to relax over the ball. I like my front hand, my top hand in front of me and allowing your abdomen, the side of your abdomen here to absorb the ball. And just witness your breath. Do it again. Relaxing the shoulders. Maybe starting to take a little bit deeper breaths. If you can inhale through your nose, that's great. Allow there to be a little bit of sound as you exhale. That little bit of sound is really nice for dropping into the parasympathetic nervous system, the relaxation response. And now we're gonna do a little bit of contract and relax over the ball. So we're gonna take a breath and then exhale. I want you to draw your core muscles in. So we're tightening, especially those obliques over the ball and then relax over the ball. And let's do that again. So take a big breath. And you can hold that breath in, draw the core muscles in, contract. And then as you exhale, we slowly release and let ourselves melt. And we're letting all that skin kind of bunch up around the ball, letting the ball grip 
and I'm noticing, okay, I want to adjust a little bit. So I'm just going to make a little micro adjustment here, kind of find a, okay, oh, that area feels really good. And I, I want the ball on the skin as much as possible. Well, let's do one more breath here, breathing in and then contracting the core muscles very gently, just contracting the core. And then as you exhale, let yourself relax over the ball. Let your, your abdomen absorb the prop here. And now we're gonna gently roll forward over the shape of the ball and then back. And we're gonna do that a couple times. So I'm using my top hand as support, rolling forward and back. And I'm sticking on this right side, just rolling forward, you know, maybe finding another angle. Oh. But as we do this, the ball is really nice because it's gripping all the connective tissue, which is then also stretching our back muscles. So it's relieving tension out of the back. Remember, you're going to your level. If you feel any pain, feel free to back off. One more, just rocking forward and rocking back. Okay, still in the same position. Now your top arm, you're gonna draw a big circle. You're gonna circle up, maybe back a little bit, down towards your hip, and then forward. Take a big breath. If the extended arm bothers your shoulder, do it with a bent elbow. Oh. And I'm finding, I actually want to use my bottom arm as my pillow so that my head is fully supported and I can relax my head. We don't want to cause any tension in the neck. Let's do one more circle. Open up through that top left rib and then bring it back. Okay, from here, we are going to roll forward. So the ball will now be under the right side of the belly. And I'm going to bring my top left leg, kind of like a frog leg here. I'm still on more of my right side on this bottom right leg. I might adjust my bottom arm, come to my elbows. My, the ball, the prop is still on the right side. Just finding an angle and taking a breath. We have a lot of nerve endings in our abdomen. And as we breathe over this prop, we're stimulating those sensory sensory nerve endings, which is gonna help free up the communication from our gut up into our brain. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to hurt to be effective. Now, if you want a little bit more here, we're gonna add one more little thing to this side and then we'll switch sides. Keeping your prop underneath you, we're pinning the skin around the abdomen and you're gonna walk your elbows, twisting along the ball, walking the elbows over to the left a little bit, maybe adjusting the legs. It doesn't have to be a lot, but what we're doing is we're using the ball to kind of twist and gri grip and twist the skin and the connective tissue, the superficial fascia on the core. Now, right here, I'm feeling like, okay, that's my, this is, this is my limit. This is, you know, where I'm definitely feeling the tightness. I'm going to prop my forehead either on the back of my hands or I'm going to grab my yoga block. And we got three more big breaths. So just find an angle. You might be pinning the skin from the rib, that right rib cage down, or maybe it's more from the front of that right hip upwards into the abdomen. And you'll feel it. You just kind of find your angle here. Remember, it does not have to hurt to be effective. We're just finding a little bit of pressure, a pressure that is tolerable. It might be a little uncomfortable, but it's gotta be something that you can still breathe into. Super important. Sometimes I relax over, I'm like, okay, now I wanna lower in my head. I'm just listening to what my body needs here. Let's do one more big breath. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Even some gentle rocking of the hips. Okay, and then rolling over to the right, coming up onto your hands. Ooh. Now, before we go over to the left side, whew, I like to take myself to all fours, tabletop, and just kind of wiggle it out, hit the reset button. Ooh. And then we're going to switch sides. So going to the other side, grabbing your props. I like something in between my knees. That's something you can totally add. The more skin you can expose, the better. Because your prop is going to make contact with your skin where you have all those nerves, right? Sending signals to the brain. And then if you're using the ball, the ball has this grippiness to it, which is so good for gripping that superficial fascia, which helps relieve so much tension. 
All right, finding your position. We're just going to breathe here. Your prop is in between your lower rib and your hip, the waist on that side. Slower is better. It doesn't have to be super deep. You find your level and breathe. We want the breath to be slow and deep. It is enough to just find a spot where you're like, whoa, and take a big breath. Your breath is doing most of the work here. Now we're going to take another breath, inhale, and then contract your ab muscles, and then exhale and release over the ball. And you might need to make little adjustments. You are in charge. We store so much emotion and so much energy in our core. Do it again. Take a breath. Contract the abs and then exhale. Try to relax. Let your abdomen absorb your prop. And oftentimes in our core, because we store so much here and we're trying to protect it, right? Because our bodies want to feel safe that we develop this protective shield in our abdomen. And we need to protect our abdomen because we got all our internal organs here. It's a very sensitive area. But sometimes our protective shield gets so strong that we lock ourselves out. And so we're using this self-dominal massage to regain access, which is going to improve digestion. It's going to reduce back pain. Oh, and it's going to actually strengthen your core, right? Because the core comes in layers and we got to get to those deep layers. So contract and then relax over the ball. Oh. And then we're going to do some rocking forward and back. And make adjustments as you need to. I'm finding that, you know, having the block underneath my head was kind of restricting me. And so I'm just going to use my bottom arm as my pillow. Breathe. Gift yourself some space. Release the judgments or criticisms you might have about this midsection of your body. And send it some love. Each breath is like a little love note. Hello, body. Just reconnecting. Okay, we're going to do those arm circles. If you need to readjust, get that ball to pin some skin. And then your top right arm, we're going to circle back and then down towards that right hip and then forward. And if the extended arm doesn't feel good, just do it with your elbow. Really think about as you circle back, you're opening through that right rib. Oh, big breath. One more. Inhale through your nose the best you can. And a big exhale. Okay, from here, top right knee is going to slide forward like a frog leg here. So now we're, we're still on the left side of the abdomen, but we're rolling more towards the front. And play with it. There's connective tissue from that left rib coming down into the abdomen, and then from that left hip bone, up into the abdomen and you know there might be an area where you're like hold on i want to you know let me see what happens when i pull that connective tissue and then you're going by feeling here Ooh. and breathe slower is better and this is going to take some practice so if you're feeling like wow i'm just struggling to hang out here maybe you're cutting each of these this time in half and that's okay if this practice needs to be a lot shorter for you. But I invite you to keep coming back to it because over time, it'll get easier and you'll unlock more layers. If you want to add the little pin and stretch, we're up on our elbows. We're pinning some connective tissue and we're going to walk our elbows to the left, twisting a little bit of that connective tissue. Trying to relax the head, the shoulders. Just find a position. You can adjust your legs. Breathing through the back of the ribs. Relaxing the jaw. Find what works for you. 
Be gentle. Be kind. One more deep breath. Can you breathe into your lower back? And a big exhale. And then rolling onto the left side. Woo. Slowly coming up onto all fours. Drawing a big circle. We're going to do one more position and we're going to be laying on our backs. So finding your way onto your back and we are going to put our ball on our, it's called the thoracolumbar fascia, which is like the lower back area, really close to the sacrum. And once again, we want to expose as much skin as possible. And so we really want to be, you know, kind of close to the butt crack in a way, right? We want to get into that you know, tight area of the sacrum. Feet are on the floor, knees are bent, feet are wide. Now, if this ball feels too high for you, you can just do this with a blanket, okay? Take a breath. Relax the shoulders, soften your face. And we're gonna do gently shearing, gently rocking side to side. The grippiness of the ball is gripping the connective tissue in the low back. And everything's connected. So the connective tissue through the front of the abdomen, the sides is connected into the back. So just showing this whole area a little bit of love, not forcing anything, finding what works for you. Arms can be out to your sides. So you've got, you know, some leverage against the floor. I'm taking a big breath. And now we're gonna do that same rocking, but we're gonna try to hold the ball still. So you can hold the ball, trying to hold it in place. And now I'm going to shift my hips side to side against the ball. So I'm just kind of working into the connective tissue a little bit more without moving the ball side to side. And remember, your breath is the ultimate internal massage tool. Meeting the pressure of your prop, pausing in any areas that you feel like you need to. And then bringing it to center, lifting the hips, moving the ball out of the way, resting the hips on the floor, give your knees a hug, gently rock side to side. Make sure your shoulders are down and the back of the neck is long. And take a big breath. And then carefully roll over onto your left side. Take a breath. And then slowly, let's come up to seated. Let's finish with just a belly breath. You could put a hand on your belly and a hand on your heart or just rest your hands in your lap. Big inhale into a soft belly. Slow exhale. Give yourself a little smile. Tell yourself thank you. Thank you for taking this time out of your day to show your abdomen some love by releasing the tension, by giving it a little massage. And know that you can come back to this practice anytime. Just please do so gently and kindly. If you found this practice helpful for your tummy, please help me by liking and subscribing for more holistic fitness tips. Thank you for sharing your time and sharing this abdominal massage practice with me today. May you move through the rest of your day feeling more connected to your center and your core strength.